We've often said here on the show that when you launch something, you have to be very much ready. Recently, you know, over here in the United Kingdom, we had a brand new musical, Experimental, they called it. It was called Opening Night, and it starred a very good actress, a musical star as well, Sheridan Smith. And on paper, you would have said, this will work, you know, this is going to be a blast. She'd had a lot of success with another show. Uh, and of course, people would have thought, yeah, just buy tickets. Absolutely bombed, and literally people are just bailing out halfway through the performance. Feel so sorry for her, you know? But that's the thing about something being badly executed. And this now, the same thing, could apply to none other than the former royal known as Meghan Markle. That particular big event, you know, the one with Netflix, the lifestyle show, well, it's already having some radical changes. Let me explain. Morning, lovely to see you today. Thank you so much for taking the time out. Nice to have your company. I love this building here. Yes, the St Pancras Station featured, you know, in a lot of those British B films, as we call them. And in those days, it, you know, it was literally after the war when they filmed, they were also dark and chalky and sort of blitz burned, weren't they? That they did add a lot of atmosphere to them. And when you come to them today and you look at the ticket office and you think, oh, right, you know, it's quite small, really. Always on film, everything looks totally different, doesn't it? But it's well worth just to look around this area because it really is fascinating and steeped in history. I, as I say, like this area simply because of the architecture and the St Pancras Hotel, a wonderful place. Yes, well, I just sit in there. You can't afford things. Apparently, the suite is £10,000 a night. That's on a Sunday night. Yes, I know. Can you imagine? We need the lottery, don't we? Absolutely. Back as ever to your royal story of the day. Now, here's where, as ever, I just find this baffling. Meghan Markle has had long enough to understand exactly how the world works. I mean, the bottom line is the world works that you get things together and then you decide to launch it and stuff like that. You know, that's the deal. Well, clearly, Meghan hasn't thought any of this through. And now, what the problem is, is as we know, that cookery show, the thing that she's going to be doing, allegedly with her own recipes and her own whatever she's come up with, well, guess what you see it was all going to be about cooking uh, food sort of friendship all of that sort of stuff connectability now I've been told from an excellent source who's actually working on that show for Netflix that the friendship element will now be scaled down and this really is the only sensible thing I can see so far that Megan and her team have done and apparently the reason behind this is that they know it'll get absolutely bashed in the media simply because of course as we know Megan seems to lose friends like losing water through a sieve you seemingly can't keep hold of people we've seen pictures of her recently wearing the mom t-shirts with some kind of long-term friend Abigail Spencer but as the suits cast said we don't have a number we don't keep in touch even though they went to her wedding seemingly she fell out with quite a few other people so you see Netflix themselves are very aware of how this will play out and in fairness to them I have to say I think they're advising her wisely because they clearly don't want another disaster on their hands of course for Megan herself she couldn't really understand it apparently when it was being told because she said look I've got lots of friends and they would like to appear on my show but you see, without actually knowing much about her friends, other than, say, Serena Williams, really, will it connect with the audience? The only way you can make that work, if you're doing something like that, is to literally have a famous face that you literally connect and bond with. So the audience click in. Netflix knows this, but seemingly, Megan doesn't. And for now, it looks like the playful area of talking about friendship and, you know, all of that sort of thing, community, getting on together. Well, seemingly that will be a very small part now of Megan's latest comeback via Netflix. Remember, you heard that here first. Neil Sean, St Pancras, London.